Welcome to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV with me, Salty Alley, and today we're doing a species profile on a beloved puffer fish in the saltwater aquarium. Today we're talking about the dog face puffer. These guys are probably one of the cutest puffer fish in the saltwater aquarium and for good reason. They look almost just like a puppy dog when they look at you. They got big eyes and those funny teeth and they're just really, really cute. Dog face puffers are native to the Indian Pacific Ocean. They spend their time swimming through the reef looking for crustaceans and other little mollusks that they can eat. They have two big teeth that are fused together to create a beak and this beak grows continuously just like rodents. So with that being said, they have to chew on something hard like shells so that shell can keep that beak trimmed down. Otherwise, they're prone to having issues with their teeth growing way too large. With that being said, these fish are not considered reef safe. For one, because they will definitely eat all of their cleanup crew and because they will also nip at corals as well. They will tend to chomp on a coral to try and shave down that beak and keep it trim if they need to, so that can end up causing a lot of destruction to your corals as well. It's very important to make sure that you're feeding these puffers hard foods like clams on a half shell or whole shrimp as well to make sure that those teeth are staying trimmed down. These are a very large puffer species getting up to 12 to 13 inches long. Therefore, these fish require a tank at least 220 gallons or larger. Being a puffer fish, they can blow up, but it's usually only done when they're extremely stressed or if they're stretching. So it's not something you can see very often. When you purchase a puffer and you bring it home, you want to make sure that you acclimate them nice and slow because they are sensitive to big swings and parameters. And when you're ready, it's always a great idea to get them into a container like a catch cup and transfer them into the aquarium in water because if they blow up out of the water, they can in turn swallow a lot of air, which can cause a lot of issues with them contracting back down. We don't want them to blow up full of air because that is not good for them. They also earn their name from their friendly disposition. So they're not really an aggressive fish in the aquarium. They tend to do well with angels and butterfly fish and other larger, more aggressive fish. They sometimes can be kept with other puffers if you introduce them at the same time. But if you decide to try and add a puffer later on, you may run into territorial aggression and it's not generally recommended. These fish, just like most others, require a temperature between 74 and 82 degrees. They're relatively hardy and they're not prone to tons of diseases, but like I had said before, they are prone to teeth issues and they're also a little bit prone to ick because they are a scaleless fish. Keeping them in a container full of water will make sure that they don't get any air in them. Their beak is extremely sharp, so just make sure that you always use caution when doing maintenance on the aquarium and feeding them. I would never recommend feeding them by hand because then they start to associate your hand with food and this can cause for very serious bites. So always just make sure that you feed with tongs and that you're keeping an eye out for the puffer in the aquarium while you're doing maintenance on the tank. These puffers have a nice long lifespan of up to 10 years in captivity. There's very little sexual dimorphism with these guys. The really only way to tell between male and female is by checking on their colors. So males are a lot more vibrant in yellow on their face and on their fins than the females. These puffers can tend to be a little shy when you first bring them home, so just give them some time to come out and feel more comfortable. Once they do, they'll be an awesome fish in your tank. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode on Ocean State Aquatics TV with me, Salty Alley, and you know what to do. Keep it salty, baby.